Hi everybody, Linux Netbook Guy here and welcome to today's video. And today's video is on the CrunchBang Linux. This is a full install to the Netbook's hard drive, so it's not in VirtualBox or anything else. You can see here Del Mini, Del Mini, Del Mini even. The host is, I've just called it CrunchBang as the default. Um, uptime is 2 hours. RAM is 140 meg of 1 gig. We're using no swap and we've got a bit of disk usage and CPUs are quite busy. Um, so that's that worries me a little bit even though I'm recording a video. Um, just seems a little, a little bit of excessive but anyway. So this is the Crunch Bang Linux. I've also installed um, a couple of little bits and pieces as you can see just to make my Crunch Bang experience um, a little more enjoyable. Um, crunch bang Linux, yeah. Crunch bang. Um, <clears throat> how can I sum up crunch bang? Well, it's far more stable than Arch or Arch bang or Manjaro um, because it's not a rolling release based on Debian, of course. So it's about as stable as stable can be. Um, absolutely lightning quick on the netbook, as you can see. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, of course it is um, an acquired taste crunch bang um, as you know it's one of my favorite operating systems of all time and indeed uh, I've got um, a brand new desktop computer I'm just about to um, put the 64-bit version of crunch bang on there because it is so good and I mean that honestly it's so good it's Far more classier um, than other operating systems, for sure. Um, this is the Waldorf version 11, but it's not the testing images. This is the stable version. Um, and it's got just about everything on it you could ever want. And it really, really will help you maximise your netbook experience. Now, let me just give you an example. So out of the box, if we go to network, we have the option to install Chromium and or Google Chrome. I've gone for the Google Chrome. And we also have Dropbox available, again, out of the box. <clears throat> so out of the box, you're pretty much set up for the best possible web experience using your netbook. Of course, Crunch Bang Linux is completely free of charge. As I'm sure I've already said, it is the classiest looking operating system there is. OSs don't get to look any classier than this. However, it is an open box distribution, which for me means it's not a distribution for noobs. For me, the number one distribution at the minute on a netbook is still Zorin OS, followed very closely by Linux Lite. Those are the two OSs you should look to use on your netbook if you're migrating over to Linux for the first time. If you're a little bit more experienced Linux user, then for me, <coughs> CrunchBang Linux is the OS of choice. There is nothing to touch it, both in terms of looks, in operability, and stability, and the amount of software that you've got available for it. Now, of course, um, we've also got LibreOffice installed, which comes as standard, uh, the full version. Absolutely everything's all in there. As I say, this is only running on a gig of RAM. Bear in mind, my Dropbox is synchronising gigs worth of files. I, I, oh, I don't know what I've done there. But it's absolutely delightful. And by adding Synapse, um, again, for me, it just maximises and enhances the whole netbook experience. Because you can use your netbook as a full-featured computer. And an operating system such as CrunchBang is the one to look for if you're an experienced or seasoned Linux user, without a shadow of a doubt. <clears throat> now, as well as having the full LibreOffice suite, of course, we've also got the gorgeous Abbey Word version 2.92. Now, as I say, this version that I'm running here, this is the i486 version, so it's the non-PAE kernel. It comes supplied with Abbey Word and with Genomeric as standard, which is just amazing, as you can see. It's very, very quick very slick and the 2.9.2 .2. there really is nothing else you <laughs> you need you know for a wonderful web experience but if you want to go a little bit you know a little bit deeper than that then of course crunch bang allows you to do it i 
as you can see all the programs are the absolute latest version so not only can you have a wonderful online net experience with Crunchbang you can also have a pretty darn slick offline experience and I can absolutely guarantee you one thing if any Windows user or any casual computer user or any friend gets the remotest peep at your screen all you will hear is oh my god WTF is that and you will have a smile on your face bigger than any Cheshire cat because you will know that you are using Crunchbang Linux and that's what separates you from the crowd Crunchbang is a distro which is separate from the chasing pack the crowd it's different by design it's absolutely the enthusiast's choice of operating system without a shadow of a doubt it's just on a netbook it's delightful on a main desktop with a bit of power 64 bit few gigs of ram it's like muck off a stick <clears throat> so there you go that's it and as i say i mean you know you can quite happily uh, use this no problem as your everyday operating system no problem at all um, you can use it online you can use it offline you've got all your shortcut keys so we can go super f for the file manager super t for the terminal super w for your web browser um, we can even super tab for a client menu as you can see it's just honestly fantastic and of course it's using the mighty open box which is so customizable um, but even so, as you can see, out of the box with its steel grey looks, absolutely stunning. Stunning. And as I say, you will be the absolute envy of all your friends. Now, I have only one serious concern with this operating system at the moment as we speak on the netbook. Because that's what this series is about, the netbook. And that is, about every 10 minutes it seems to drop my internet connection and it will not reconnect so I don't know what that issue is I don't know if it's a Dropbox causing it I don't know what it is but nevertheless I'm gonna have a quick delve around the forums just to see if there's anything already on there in fact what we could do is we can just have a, a quick huge fast look now um, and we'll just do a quick search so Crunchbank 11 Waldorf dropping the internet connection just to see if anything's already been put on that dead slow internet well no we don't have a dead slow internet we just continually drops it No, I don't think so. I don't seem to be a lot here, does it, really? Uh, dead slow internet. Well, that's nothing really to do with it, I don't think. Our internet, as you can see, is not particularly that slow. Um, so, I really don't know. I don't know what it is, but, I mean, our internet isn't that... The speed of the internet is normally down to your supplier, yeah. yeah. No, there's nothing really there, is there? So, I don't know... Um, what's that under oh, that's the development version really Skype default font um, well as you can see there's not an awful lot really there to be fixed I want to thought well I mean it doesn't look like anybody else has had um, Oh, rather than put in uh, actually let me try uh, something else rather than typing in dropping in dropping the internet connection dropping the let's try wireless connection because that's what it is right here we go uh, 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 uh. Broadcom wireless support which I know is what this um, Dell Mini has it has a Broadcom so uh, right 
Right. Okay, so we need to install this package by the look of it. Which is what it's suggesting we do. So I'll have a look at that later on, but um I mean it's actually working. So I'll have a look at that. Anyway, I'll have a look at that. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? That's the only issue that I currently have at the moment um, with Crunchbang Linux. Other than that, I would say it's 10 out of 10, and I'd highly recommend it to anybody who's, you know, a little bit more of a seasoned Linux user. This is the only operating system of choice, without a shadow of a doubt. It is absolutely gorgeous it really really is gorgeous okay thanks for watching everybody please rate comment subscribe and the videos up and i'll see you all really soon for another wicked linux netbook guy video